3,500 year old armor tested by the Marines. Scientists invited volunteers from the Hellenic Armed Forces to test the strength and combat suitability of replicas of 3,500 year old armor. Soldiers dressed in heavy armor took part in simulated, 11 hour battles inspired by Homer's Iliad. Tests showed that such armor could give warriors a significant advantage on the battlefield. One of the oldest known European armors is a 3,500-year-old armor found near the village of Dendra, a few kilometers from ancient Mycenae in Greece. It consisted of a helmet and armor made of bronze plates connected with leather straps. It was discovered in 1960 and since then there has been a dispute whether the armor was suitable for combat or whether it was more of a ceremonial outfit. This question has important implications for understanding warfare in late Bronze Age Europe, but no historical sources describe the use of this type of armor. In new research published in the journal PLOS1, scientists from the Universe determined that the famous Mycenaean armor was suitable for long-term combat. The Dendra armor is considered one of the oldest complete armors from the European Bronze Age, Clarice said. Since its discovery, the question remains whether the armor served only ceremonial or combat purposes, he added. To find out, researchers invited 13 Marines from the Hellenic Armed Forces and equipped them with replicas of armor found near Dendra and weapons from the Bronze Age. Soldiers armed in this way took part in a simulated, 11-hour battle. The battle was to replicate military operations based on historical accounts taken from the pages of the famous work of the Greek poet Homer, The Iliad, a story about the last 50 days of the Trojan War. We extracted the information needed to create a combat simulation replicating the everyday activities performed by elite warriors in the late Bronze Age. We then used paleoclimate data to recreate environmental conditions at Troy at that time, Fleury said. Research suggests that the temperature in this region during the late Bronze Age was between 18 and 20 degrees Celsius and the annual relative humidity ranged from 70 to 80 percent. But researchers went even further. They wanted to have a full picture of both the conditions prevailing at that time and the capabilities and skills of ancient warriors. Therefore, the marine volunteers followed a diet similar to what a Mycenaean soldier would eat in preparation for battle. This meal consisted of bread, beef, goat cheese, green olives, onions, and red wine. To create the replicas, scientists used metals, including copper and zinc, the alloy closest to the original material of the ancient armor. The recreated armor matched the exact dimensions of the artifact, and when completed, including the helmet, weighed 23 kilograms. Each test participant walked, ran, drove a replica chariot and fought wearing heavy armor using a sword, spear, and bow and arrow. During simulated combat, soldiers engaged in a variety of engagements, including one-on-one -on -one duels, infantry versus chariot combat, and long-distance engagements. The team found that the armor did not impair combat abilities or cause serious strain on the wearer. It was suitable for long hours of fighting. Researchers speculate that Mycenaean armor production technology had a significant impact on the history of this part of the world. This type of armor was suitable for use in battle, not just in ceremonies. The effectiveness and variety of Mycenaean swords and spears have long been known. The addition of this set of heavy armor gave elite Mycenaean warriors a significant advantage, Floris said, adding that the Mycenaeans were some of the best equipped soldiers at the time. Adding to this the armored warriors who were taken to the battlefield in chariots, 
and therefore arriving at the front line with full energy resources, it turns out that these warriors must have been formidable opponents, said Flurries. However, this type of armor was worn only by wealthy, elite warriors, as evidenced by valuable artifacts found with the armor in a tomb near Dendra. Private soldiers had no armor at all or wore much lighter protection. There is a planet 40 light years away with a temperature similar to Earth's. Astronomers have discovered an Earth-like planet about 40 light years away from the solar system. Lias 12b, as it was named, is slightly smaller than our planet, and the estimated temperature on its surface is 42 degrees Celsius. The planet orbits the star Lias 12 in the constellation Pisces. It was discovered by the transit method. This is a situation when a planet passes in front of the disk of its star, viewed from the perspective of a viewer on Earth, which causes its brightness to drop regularly. The degree to which the star's light dims allows researchers to determine the size and mass of the planet. The planet stands out in the catalogue of over 5,000 extrasolar planets discovered so far in that its estimated surface temperature is 42 degrees Celsius, which means it may have liquid water on its surface. Most worlds discovered so far are much hotter. The description and results of the observations were published in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Gaius 12b is slightly smaller than Earth, comparable in size to Venus. It is not yet known whether it has an atmosphere. It orbits its host star, a relatively cool red dwarf, every 12.8 days. Gaius 12b is one of the best targets for studying whether Earth-sized planets orbiting cool stars are able to retain their atmospheres a key step towards deepening our understanding of the habitability of planets in our galaxy," said Shashir Tholakia from University of Southern Queensland in Australia. The star Gliese 12 is much smaller than the Sunday. It has about 27 percent. Its size, and its surface temperature is about 60 percent. Temperature of our star. However, the distance between Gliese 12 and the newly discovered planet is only 7%. Distance between the Earth and the Sunday. Gliese 12b therefore receives 1.6 times more energy from its star than Earth receives from the Sun, but slightly less than Venus. This difference is important because it means that the planet's surface temperature is highly dependent on atmospheric conditions. Compared to the estimated surface temperature of Gliese 12b, which is about 42 degrees C, the average surface temperature of the Earth is 15 degrees C. Gliese 12b receives about 85% of the radiation that reaches Venus, but Venus is covered with a thick, choking atmosphere which causes the greenhouse effect, resulting in an average surface temperature of 464 degrees Celsius. Atmospheres retain heat and, depending on the type, can significantly change the actual surface temperature. We report the planet's equilibrium temperature, which is the temperature the planet would have if it had no atmosphere. Much of this planet's scientific value lies in understanding what kind of atmosphere it might have. Gliese 12 b falls between the amount of light that Earth and Venus receive from the Sun, Tolakia explains, adding that studying its atmosphere can teach us a lot about how planets evolve. An important factor in maintaining the atmosphere is the behavior of the star. Red dwarfs are smaller than stars similar to our sun and much cooler. They are also the most common type of star discovered by astronomers. But red dwarfs are known for their activity. They tend to produce frequent bursts of radiation that can strip a planet of its atmosphere, as 
especially one in such a close orbit. However, analyzes by astronomers have shown that GLIAS-12 shows no signs of such extreme behavior, raising hopes that GLIAS-12b's atmosphere may still be intact. We only know of a few Earth-like temperate planets that are close enough to us, admits Michael McElwain of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. To better understand the diversity of atmospheres and the effects of planetary evolution, we need more examples like Gliese 12 b he adds. Researchers are demanding observing time on the James Webb Space Telescope JWST. Its capabilities would allow for a more accurate characterization of the newly discovered world. JWST will probably be able to give us a clear picture of what its atmosphere looks like, says Tolakia.